rain across South Central. That is what we're watching this morning. Uh, that's going to steadily build in through the remainder of the day. Uh, nothing widespread by any means. We'll see some dry time here and there, but from the mid morning through the early afternoon, uh, that is where we're going to hold on to that better chance of seeing some rain uh, in the forecast. We do have an area of low pressure through the eastern Gulf of Alaska that's keeping some rain out towards southeast for your Monday. And then our, our parent low that we're watching that's primarily uh, bringing rain from uh, the Seward Peninsula out towards uh, Norton Sound into the interior. Uh, as well as out towards South Central, uh, that low is out towards uh, the Yukon Delta. And that's going to continue to stay with us here over the next couple of days, keeping some rain and winds in the forecast. Uh, you can see so far today, uh, since about midnight, those winds have been gusting anywhere from 25 uh, to 40 miles per hour across the state. And we're going to continue to hold on to some of these gusty conditions uh, here over the next uh, couple of hours across uh, Alaska. Winds across uh, South Central expected to be anywhere from about 25 to 35 miles per hour. It will be a cooler day. We did see those temperatures warming back into the mid 60s uh, the past couple of days, but today we are going to return back into the upper 50s and lower 60s, largely due to those overcast skies and rain uh, that will remain in the forecast for the remainder uh, of the day. So again, mid morning, early afternoon, that's where we'll see that better chance for some rain uh, into the evening hours. Drier time can be expected. So pretty much the same scenario that we did see uh, last Friday. You can see as that rain exits to the east, it's going to lead to increasing rain out towards uh, the panhandle as well. Now, as we welcome in Tuesday, uh, that parent low will be right on top of this. So we'll see some lingering shadows hours in the forecast uh, for at least the first half of the day tomorrow before drier conditions uh, really begin to build back into the region. And as that system exits, uh, we'll see those clouds beginning to break with some late day sunshine tomorrow, paving the way uh, for mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies as we welcome in your Wednesday. As far as the rainfall that we've dealt with uh, the past, uh, really past several weeks, that has bumped us up to uh, the sixth wettest July on record. Now this is through July 28th. With the rain that we're going to see today, as well as tomorrow that could potentially jump us up or bump us up to the top five uh, wettest Julys on record. This will be back to back back years uh, of seeing uh, wet Julys in the forecast and that trend will likely continue as we welcome in August. 62 degrees will be the high today in Anchorage, 61 in Fairbanks. Uh, parts of the interior will see some isolated thunderstorms primarily out towards uh, the Yukon Flats and then cooler weather along the slope with temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40. So a good portion of the state will see some rain showers in the forecast. Uh, for southeast, we'll primarily see less than a half an inch uh, of that rainfall with temperatures sitting in the 60s for many areas outside of Yakutat, which will stay at 57 degrees. We'll see some rain showers across the Kenai. Heaviest rain uh, will be north of the Sterling Highway, up to an inch of accumulation uh, through Prince William Sound with temperatures sitting in the mid 50s. 58 degrees in Golcana. We'll see again those breezy conditions sticking around throughout the day. Uh, the Yentna River uh, out towards our Lost Creek continues to remain up under that flood advisory through the afternoon hours. Uh, the water should recede throughout the day. Lingering rain into our Tuesday, and then there's the return of sunshine and drier conditions by the middle of the week. With that said, Kristen, we'll still see some isolated showers across parts of South Central uh, through the end of the week. All right, looking forward to that sunshine.